Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 57 year old retired school teacher who needed to find a redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. Today I'm here for part two of a Ben's haul that I did when I uh, participated in a collaboration with Becky Park and students who have taken her YouTube class. And we did a thrifting to pay for your vacation or thrifting while on vacation. Well, mine was more like a, I'm going thrifting in Northwest Arkansas. I did take a little, I guess you could call it a mini vacation. I stayed in a nice hotel. Does that count? Okay, so today's is hard goods and shoes. Okay, this is part two, hard goods and shoes. So let's start off with the shoes. Okay, I found this pair of, let's see if I, can, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in that or not. Clark's, can you see it? Yeah, I think so. These are Clark's Chucka boots and they were in the bins. I sh thinking I probably can get about 25 to 30 on those. The next pair of shoes was a pair of kind of bronze thongs by Born. And these are a size, and I'm gonna, a size nine. And that's my size, but I don't know, I don't do well in flip flops. I forgot to tell you what the Clarks were. The Clarks were a size, I can read it on the other one, 11. And I think on these, these born um, thongs, I should be able to get 15 to $20. Okay. The next pair of shoes, don't, don't be surprised, but the next pair of shoes is a pair of, oh, upside down, borns. I think born is an excellent pair of shoes. I've worn them for years. Um, so it's kind of like the Ralph Lauren. If I can find them, I'm going to get them. These are in beautiful shape. They're a size 10. Actually, all three of those shoes are in really good shape. And then the last pair of shoes I got there was a pair of Echoes. Now, let me show you. When I first started thrifting, I would get Echo because it was a nice brand. My mother loved to wear it. And I would get them. And I had two or three people to tell me they had torn apart um, after they had gotten their shoes. Well, you know, I was kind of leery. Are they telling the truth? And did they just uh, try to pull one over on me? But no, <laughs> Echo soles do fall apart really easily. So when I see them, I do this. <laughs> and I do it on both shoes and I do it several times. I twist them because, you know, I want to make sure that I know their soles aren't going to fall apart. Okay, so let's do some plush. The next item I got is from the Pokemon Center. Um, if you're familiar with Pokemon, you know what this bird is, but I haven't done any research on this. And usually if it says something like Pokemon, um, then I get them because I may not make a lot, but I'm going to make money on it. Okay. This is a real cute little tie bear. Um, it is called, and tie does not sell for much, so don't go out there and buy a bunch of tie beanie babies. The special ones do. Uh, this is an, part of the Attic Treasures, and it is named Gwendolyn. Okay, I just thought it was really pretty. Okay, the next plush that I got was, is he, what is he? Let me see what he is, I don't even know, I done forgot. The Smurfs, sorry, this is one of the Smurfs. And it's not one of the usual, usually you see like Papa Smurf or one of them. Well, uh, Zombie Bargain Hunter, and I just love his, his videos, but the Zombie Bargain Hunter says that pick the unusual. You know, don't pick the Papa Smurf. Don't pick the uh, Barbie. Instead, pick the Odd Smurf or pick the little girl, but don't pick the regular ones. You might can still sell them. You're just not gonna sell them for as much or as quickly. So this is another plush, okay? This is a really cute little elephant and it is, 
Let's see. No, 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 no. It's vintage. It's from the 90s. Oh, it's one of, it's a Boyd's collection. But, see, it's not a bear. It's an elephant. Okay. The, um, I think that's the last plush. Yeah. The last plush, last plush that I found was this guy. Okay. It is a yokai watch. I had a yokai once. It went to Germany. So I picked this up and hopefully it'll sell as well as the last one did. Okay, I've got a few more items that I wanted to show you. This is a new bravado clip and pump bra. Never heard of it. Not great, not great, but not bad either. It should sell. Okay, I got this bag of money. Yeah, I probably paid more for it than it cost originally, but I just thought it was really cute to use like in YouTube um, thumbnails or something like that. I thought having all this money it would be cute. So I didn't get that to resell. I got it to reuse. I bought these loving comfort legs. They are um, support hosts. And I got these, and they're not going to bring me a lot of money, but they don't weigh much and didn't cost me much money. Are you ever in the bins and you find things, hey, I need that. <laughs> so, a brand, uh, you know, roll of Scotch transparent tape. I can always use clear tape. Okay. Oh, I found another plush. It was under this other one. So, this right here is a Wild Republic, and it's a beaver. Um, again, I didn't run comps. I didn't run comps on anything at the bins. I just didn't. It was overwhelming. My cart was literally taller, well, lots taller than me, but yeah, I, I should have taken it out once, but I didn't run tops, but isn't it a cute little beaver? Okay, then this right here, this is just a little brand new Christmas decoration, I believe from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, 2012. Um, I'm probably going to put this up at home at, at Christmas time. I just thought it was cute. Why not? And then the last thing I got may be, hopefully, the most lucrative of everything that I got on this trip. I got a brand new Wild G. I know it's hard to see. Sorry, I'm not going to take it out of the package. It, you know, it's sealed. Um, C. Brand new. Now, I weighed it. It weighs three and a half pounds. The bins at Rogers charges $1.40. a dollar forty. It's a dollar thirty nine a pound, so a dollar forty. And this weighed three and a half pounds. So I'm thinking it was close to five dollars. These were going. These had sold comps of sixty dollars plus. Who expects to see a sealed bicycle seat at the bins? Well, I didn't, but I bought it. And now, hopefully, I'm going to get $60 profit on it. Well, after my fees and stuff. $50 profit. It was pretty awesome. So, that's it for my hard goods and shoe haul. Uh, again, this was part two. If you haven't seen part one, I'm going to link it in the description. There is a part three, and that's the rest of the clothes haul. But I do want to tell you, I appreciate it so much that you came out today. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more haul videos, like you want to go back and see the one that I've already done, and you want to see the next one that I'm doing, or you want to see mystery box openings, or you want to find out what's sold, then subscribe to my channel. And as many videos, I get three to four videos out every week, so hit that notification so it'll let you know when I'm posting a video. So, I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go find your redo.